Shout hallelujah. Come on, come on, open your mouth and shout hallelujah. We praise God once again for this Resurrection Sunday. And today is Women's Day as well. We praise God for our women department on today. And at this time, we're going to have uh, Missionary Shirley Jackson is coming with our, our prayer and following her for our scripture reading will be Missionary Hamilton and following Missionary Hamilton it will go to our statement of faith uh, Missionary Brown following Missionary Brown will be in uh, the hands of our music department for praise and worship come on let's give God the praise <laughs> thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning. Oh, God, we come before you with uplifted hands and praises on our lips, oh, God, and an open heart to receive your word. We want to say thank you this morning for waking us up and starting us on our way, allowing us, God, to come into the house of the Lord to celebrate this great day, to celebrate this day of resurrection. For Jesus died on the cross for us. He endured the cross for our sins and our wrongdoings, our shortcomings, oh, God. He died that we may live again, that we may be connected to you. And we say thank you. Thank you because you're mighty and you're wonderful. Thank you for being God all by yourself. Thank you for being God almighty. Thank you, God. Thank you. Hallelujah, because there's none like you. We thank Jesus. Hallelujah, our Savior, our Lord, our Redeemer that died on the cross for us. And we're saying, God, come into the place this morning, oh God. Oh, further your presence in our lives, oh God. Free newness of life into us, oh God. Praise your name, oh God. Have your way in this service, oh God. Have your way in our minds, oh God. Have your way in our lives, oh God. Have your way, God. Walk up and down the aisles, oh God. Touch, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh, save the unsaved today, God. Feel those that are unfilled, oh God. Renew those that are already filled, oh God. Give us another dip, oh God. Oh, then dwell in us some more, God. Fill us again, God. Let the newness of life come in, oh God. We thank it and praising you for this day. In remembrance, hallelujah, of what you did for us. We're coming together. This is a special Sunday, a special Sabbath, a Sabbath of resurrection, a Sabbath of joy, a Sabbath of peace, a Sabbath of love, a Sabbath of healing, a Sabbath of deliverance, a Sabbath, oh God, that we surrender all unto you and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being mighty, oh God. Thank you for remembering us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for being kind and merciful. Oh God, have your way in our lives. Have your way, God. Have your way in this place. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Hey, 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 hey. Oh God. And we hallelujah. And we give you praise. And we submit and surrender our way to you today. And ask that you would continue to bless the furthering of the service, O oh God. And let the will of the Lord be done in our lives. Heal and touch bodies, O oh God. Even the brokenhearted, O oh God. Mend that broken heart today. In the name of Jesus. And touch that weary body, O oh God. Give us strength, O oh God, that we can lift you up and magnify you. Because this is a day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. In these things we ask, we pray, and we believe it and count it done. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. Verse six, he is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was in Galilee.
statement of faith. We affirm our faith in the Bible. We affirm our faith in God. We affirm our faith in the blessed hope. We affirm our faith in repentance and salvation. We affirm our faith in Jesus Christ. We affirm our faith in the Holy Ghost. We affirm our faith in sanctification. Come on, let's put your hands together for this Resurrection Sunday. Come on, let's give God glory in this place. Are you glad he rose today? If you're glad he rose, why don't you put those hands together and let's magnify the Lord on this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. We thank you today, God. We thank you today, God. We thank you today,
give God a great big hand clap for all of his power. We serve a God that has all power. Hallelujah. And he said this same spirit be in you that raised Christ from the dead it shall also quicken your mortal body. We're feeling the resurrecting power this morning and I'm excited about the power of the resurrection this morning. Amen. We're going to bless the Lord as we move along in the service Amen. In our giving. Amen. If you need a tithe envelope, just raise your hand. The ushers will assist you. Amen. But we want to magnify the name of the Lord this morning. Now, this is that third day that he got up with all power. Raise your hand if you need an usher's envelope. Uh, the ushers can assist you with a tithe envelope this morning. Amen. Everyone, please stand. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, for this offering. Thank you for those that are giving. Lord, we give into good ground, Lord, not as a debt we owe, but as a seed we sow into your kingdom. Lord, bless the gift and the giver. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Let everyone say, thank God. Thank God. Amen. We're going to ask the two outside aisles that they will face the wall, and we're going to march and bring our offering to the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And we're going to get ready for our observations, after which we're going to hear another musical selection, and then we will stand for our bishop, Bishop Frankie Faneuil.
And then thank you, Elder Brown. We would like to make mention that our YPWW and purity class will be counseled for this evening. It's family night, so it will be counseled for this evening. But on Monday morning, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings at 9 a.m., we are in prayer in the small sanctuary. Also join us on Monday evenings at 6 p.m. for our TCMJ prayer. Please call 667-770-1164. And the access code is 531-634-POUND. Also join us on Tuesday mornings as Bishop Fanya lead us in prayer. You can call the same number, which is 667-770-1164. That access code again is 531 Six three four pound. Then on Tuesday and Wednesday evenings, please join us for our weekly Bible study at 7 p.m. in person in the small sanctuary. Also join us on Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m. for our prayer in the small sanctuary. And then our Sunday school hour begins at 9.45 a.m. The new member orientation class is also 9.45 a.m. in the fellowship hall. Also on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m., you can join us for our in-person as well as virtual Sunday live service. Also, please join us on Saturday morning, which is the first Saturday. Um, our trustee meeting is at 8 a.m. Ministers' Wives meeting is 8 a.m. CWC, YWCC, and Brotherhood is at 9 o'clock. And also uh, meeting with all ministers elders, missionaries, ushers, and greeters is at 10 a.m. Also on Friday night, all department presidents and their assistants, please meet us on Friday night at 6.30 p.m. for a meeting. If you can't attend, please have your assistant available from Pastor Faneuil. And then, of course, immediately following at 7 p.m. is our pastoral teaching with our own Pastor Bishop Faneuil. The TCMJ Depart, uh, District Missionaries and Holder Club sponsoring Southern Tea. It will be Saturday, April the 27th at 12 noon. It will be at Harvest Time Church of God in Christ. That address is 7515 West Montgomery Road, Houston, Texas, where Superintendent Clifton Turner is the host pastor. And the keynote speaker is District Missionary Teresa Green from Tyler, Texas. And the, no the donation is only $40. Please see Missionary Brown for the tickets, amen, and more information. Also, we would just like to remind you again that the Little Little Valley is still looking for an experienced bus driver for our bus ministry. The driver must have a commercial license as well as pass the health screening and have a good driving record. If you are interested, please fill out an application in the Fourier. Amen. Amen. Soaring in 2024, the youth department will be spotlighting our youth and young adults each second Sunday. Amen. <laughs> each second Sunday in 2024, up to ages 35 years of age. If you are interested, please see Sister Angela Knowles or Sister Sylvia Fanyu. On our prayer list this morning, we have Sister Sarah Atkins, Sister Burgess, Brother Morant, Sister Nisha Smith, and that's Sister People's granddaughter, Brother Charles Bennett Sr., Sister Bertie Shanker, Brother Adolph Garcia, Sister Tawana Doster, Sister Debel, Sister Mary Williams, Sister Vance, and Sister Rollins. And all of those that are on our continued prayer list, we are continually praying for you. God bless you. Thank you.
touch right now. Let peace come right now in the name of Jesus. Stretch out your hand and say, have your way in, say in Jesus' name. Father, you are able to see us through every situation. Have your way, God. Thank you, Lord. You right now, God. And say yes to you. We wish your way, oh God. Praise thee, the Lord, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hello, Michael Spaniel, Pastor Mal Spaniel bringing the word of the Lord on today. Let's say amen. We receive you. Come on, let us put our hands together once again and give God the fruit of our lips. Come on, tell the Lord thank you on today. Come on, all over this place, tell the Lord thank you, Lord. Come on, thank you, Lord. If God's been good to you, tell him thank you. If you know it was God that woke you this morning, tell him thank you. If you know it was God that healed your body, tell him thank you. If you know it was God made a way out of no way, tell him thank you, Lord. 
God bless you on today. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We praise God for salvation on today. How many glad that you are saved? Let me ask you again, how many are glad that you're saved? Let me ask you again, how many glad that you're saved? If you just save on today, why don't you just shout, I'm saved? Everybody doesn't have that testimony. But we thank God on today that God did what he did. Somebody said over 2,000 years ago, he thought about us. And since God thought about us, he gave us the right to the tree of life. And we praise God on today for his many blessings. We thank God for salvation and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We thank God for this mind. On last Sunday, the preacher preached, uh, uh, they, what he said about, um, I lost my mind. And we praise God that we have a mind to live for the Lord. How many have a mind to live for the Lord? And we praise God for our pastor, none other than the Bishop Frank E. Faneuil Sr. Come on, let's celebrate him. As we think about it on last week, we were in our 15th annual ministers and workers meeting, and we praise God for each and every person of the Lily of the Valley that supported uh, the, the uh, workers' meeting on last week. We praise God for the word from our bishop on Friday evening. And then we praise God for the visitation of his spirit. I don't know how many was there and how many wasn't there, but at the same time, it felt like Sunday morning at the valley. The Lord came, and someone uh, told me later that uh, about the type of service, and we told them, well, they told them that this is how we do every Sunday at the Lily of the Valley. And they looked as though we say, really? And so we was letting them know that God comes and see about us. And we praise God for his spirit. It says that that same uh, God that raised, that power that raised Jesus from the grave shall also quicken your what? Mortal bodies. And we praise God for his spirit on today. We thank God for uh, our elders on today. Uh, Ella Brown and his wife. Come on, let's celebrate them. We praise God for Ella Matson and his wife. On today, Ella Jackson and his wife, they are out of town. Uh, we praise God for Ella Swain and his absence, but his wife, uh, Sister Swain, that is here on today. Uh, we thinking about Minister Beiser uh, and his wife. We praying that God will continue and complete his healing on his body. We praise God for our First Lady, Mother Faneuil, on today. And to my own wife, Sister Pam Fanya, Mother Kelly, God bless you, and the motherboard, Mother Miniweather, and we see uh, Mother Thomas on today. God bless you, all that are here. We thank God for uh, you that have come on today, our missionaries, our, our deacon brethren, and to our musical staff, our technicians, to our ushers, and to the whole, whole household of faith. We praise God for you, all of our visitors, and to our viewing audience on today. We want to welcome you to Resurrection Sunday, where God didn't stay in the grave, but he got up. I thought somebody would have been glad that he got up. I said, he got up. And he declared that all power, not some power, but all power was in his hands. 
And not only then, it's still in his hands. And we praise God on today. We're going to uh, go into the word of the Lord on today. We're not going to be lengthy, but we just want to uh, encourage your hearts on today from the word of the Lord. If you would, turn with us to the book of Romans, the fifth chapter. The fifth chapter of Romans and the sixth verse. If you would so kindly stand for God's word on today. Romans 5 and 6 reads, For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commended his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. That eighth verse once again says, but God commended his love toward us. In that while we were yet sinners, all of us, Christ died for us. We want to talk to you for a few moments from these words. Jesus, the ultimate sacrifice. Jesus, the ultimate sacrifice. Now, as I was studying this uh, on this week and some other time before, I thought about when we say ultimate. It's somewhat when you're dealing with, it's pretty much saying it's the final. Nothing else is needed when you're saying this is the ultimate. This is the supreme. This is the conclusion of the whole matter. Ultimate. For we know that when we talk about sacrifices, if I ask everyone in here on today, have you even today made some sacrifice for another person? I believe everybody in here would raise their hand. We look at the parents. The parents would say, I have made sacrifices for my children. That husband, that wife would say, I have made sacrifice for my spouse. That family member say, I have made many sacrifices for my family. That friend to tell you I have made sacrifices for my friend. But I thought about, and if you can just remember what I just said, I made sacrifice for my spouse. I made sacrifice sacrifice for my family. I made sacrifice for my friend. Then we think about the patriarch to this country. We got soldiers that put themselves in harm's way. So I'm on the front line and they'll tell you, I will die for my country. I'm not going to die for, and I heard people say this, uh, why are we over there fighting for Ukraine? Why are we fighting over there in, in these other countries? We don't have to fight for them. We don't have to make sacrifices for them. But that soldier said, I would do this for my country and my country only. Follow me here. 
Then at the same time, we hear of great sacrifices, that of the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We think about Medgar Evers that made sacrifice, Malcolm X, even Rosa Parks. They made sacrifice that it cost them their lives. They made sacrifice for humanity that people of color would be treated fairly. They did it for the people of color. They did it for equality. But once again, I bring you back to realize that they did it, the cause that they did it, it was for a particular person, for a particular people. But I'm so glad on today that Jesus made the great sacrifice. Not just for the elect. You know, some people say, you know, I, I'm the only one should receive this great salvation. No, Jesus just didn't die just for the elect. Jesus just didn't die for a certain skin tone or skin color. He didn't die just for a particular race. He didn't die just for a particular gender, but Jesus died for the entire world. He died for you. He died for me. And I think somebody ought to lift your hands and tell the Lord, thank you for dying for us. He showed his love for us. John 3 and 16, we all know it's so for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten sons for whosoever will shall not perish but have what? Everlasting, everlasting life. John goes further in John 15 and 13 say, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. We find in the Old Testament where the priests would go unto into the holiness of holiness once a year. He would go before the Father on behalf of the people, making sacrifices. But one day, those sacrifices were not sufficient enough because he couldn't, the priests, he couldn't take away our sins we were still unrighteous but we thank God for Jesus who on today is our high priest with a more excellent ministry he is also the mediator of a better covenant that is established on better promises he has made the old covenant obsolete and he has given us a new covenant. It was one time when animals and uh, you had the doves and you had different cattle that had to have no blemish. They were presented before our God. But man's sin became so polluted that this was no more and no longer sufficient and it was inefficient. But we thank God on today that the blood, somebody shout, the blood of Jesus. It was the blood of Jesus. It took the blood to wash our sins away. It took the blood to cleanse us from all wrongdoing. It took the blood to make us whole again. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. So, Jesus became that sacrificial lamb. And John, when he declared, when he saw Jesus coming unto him, behold, the Lamb of God. He let him know this is the Lamb of God which taketh away the sins of the world. Christ loved us so much that he took all the agony and he took all the pain just for you and just for me. He allowed them to whip him. 
mock him, but he still continued to be that ultimate sacrifice. In the Garden of Gethsemane, he fell on his face and he cried and prayed unto the Father. Father, let this cup pass from me. But he thought about you and he thought about me and he thought about this dying world and say, Lord, not my will, but nevertheless, let thy will be done. So he took on our sins. He allowed them to put him on a rugged cross. He allowed them to mock and beat him. He could have easily discharged some angels from heaven, but he stayed on the cross. He stayed there saying, in 2024, there's individuals that need salvation. In 2024, there needs people that need it healing in their body. In 2024, there are people that need deliverance. So he stayed on the cross. Somebody say, he died. But earlier that Sunday morning, he got up with all power. He got up and let everybody know that I have all power in my hands. I'm, I'm, I'm just about closed here. Jesus came for one reason. To become the final and complete sacrifice for our sin. Jesus was that connection back to the Father. We know the story of Adam, but at the same time as it took one man, the disobedience of one man, but it took the obedience of another man that today we have the right to the tree of life somebody say thank God for obedience yeah Jesus died and all sins were transferred to him and he died in our place no further sacrifice is needed because Christ gave his life for us Christ did it for our sake. Christ did it for this dying world. He died that we may live. Paul writes that for he has made him to be sin for us. Who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of him. As I told you before, Paul also says in Romans 5 and 19, for as one man disobedient made many sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. He died for us. So we should live for him. Let me say that again. Christ died for us. Christ died for you. Christ died for me. He died for this world that we should live for him. Second Corinthians 5 and 15. And they, and that he died for all. That they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves but unto him which died for them. A lot of times we forget what our goal is. I'm going to tell you on today, we're here to praise God. We're here to live for God. We're here to humble ourselves before him and keep his commandments. We're here to let the, this dying world know that Jesus saves. 
Let me tell you this. There's only two ways you can go. Either you on the Lord's side or you on the devil's side. Jesus already said you can't straddle. Even though people try to straddle the fist, fence, but if you straddle the fence, God ain't finna deal with you. You, you can't be either hot or cold because he said already I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. You know, some folks say, well, I, I, I'm j I just works with everybody. No, no, no. You need to make a stand. Moses asked them, whose side are you on? If you're on my side, come on this way. If you're going to serve the others, you either go on that way. But see, the thing about it, God knows whose side we own. God knows we serving him like we should. But I'm here to tell you on today, since God paid the price, there's no need for us to be on the fence. There's no need for us to be undecided. There's no need for us to be unsure. We ought to make up in our mind today. Somebody shout today. I'm going to serve the Lord. Today I'm going to give him my all. Today I'm going to let him know, Lord, I love you. Tell the Lord thank you. While we were, and I'm closing here, while we were yet sinners, God sent Jesus Christ. He sent him to die for us. Not because we were so good, but he sent him because he loved us. Yes, that soldier, he was wounded. But he wasn't wounded for our transgression. He may have been bruised. He got bruised in battle. But he wasn't bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was not upon him. And it wasn't by the stripes that he bad that you are healed on today. But it was by Jesus' blood. I can't get no help in here. I say it was by Jesus' blood that we have the right that we have the right to our healing. It was by Jesus' blood. I can shout, I've been delivered. I've been set free. I've been whole again. It was Jesus' blood. Somebody shout the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. It was Jesus' blood. Some folks give credit. We try to give credit to the doctor. They, they good where they should do. And, but at the same time, until Jesus, I say until Jesus steps in the room. We done seen it before when the doctor say, I don't know nothing else to do. I don't know. Mother Thomas, I don't know what else to do. I, I see it here. But at the same time, we have done all we can do. And I can just see Jesus stepping from behind and just tell him, oh, get back. Just get, get back. I, I, I made my child. I know everything. I know how everything was put together. I know how everything joins together. I know it before you even knew what it was. And if they got it, God can heal us of it. Somebody just shout, heal, Lord. So we owe God. I said we owe him. He's the final sacrifice. He don't have to die again because he only need to die once. And when he died, he got up. 
They wanted to know. And we seen in our Sunday school lesson, they went to the tomb looking for him. And they were gazing. Why are y'all sitting here gazing and what are you looking for? I'm telling us on today, ain't no need of us going and looking or just gazing. God has already told us what he's going to do. God has already let us know that he was going to rise again. And since he already rose again, that's all when we are, are stuck in a situation and need to come out of that situation. That's all we have to do is just say, I'm going to praise God in advance. Because he already told me that I have the victory. He already told me I am delivered. He already told me I am healed. Tell the Lord, thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you. I want to let you know that Jesus, he is the ultimate sacrifice. And on today, as I close, we think about so many that have not accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. This is serious, you all. Why would you die and not accept Christ who paid it all? He paid it all for you. He paid it all for me. Why, why would we neglect such great salvation? And the thing is about it, God is standing there with his arms outstretched. This has been going on for years. And all of us have heard Jesus is coming soon. And the thing about it, the critics and the naysayers, I don't know why we as Christians listen to them. They tell us, haven't you been hearing that for so long? He haven't came yet. But think about it. He might not crack the clouds, but if he calls your number, he have came for you. Our theme for the year is we must work the works of him that sent us while it is day for when night cometh, no man can work. We have work to do. But at the same time, it's letting us know that when the night cometh, when you are asleep, not your natural sleep, but when you close your eyes, you can't do nothing else. But why God is so gracious, why God is so merciful, he's giving us all a chance. Just think about it. Would you have went to the cross even for that person sitting beside you, you probably know the person, they might be a loved one. Would you have went to the cross for them? Say, well, yeah, this is my baby. Don't you, don't you talk or say anything about my baby? But see, the thing about it, the person on your row, if you look on your row, First thing person say, I don't know them. You would. If you look down your row, you would sit there and say, I would not do it. I would not die for them. But Jesus, he thought about all of us. He knew we needed him. And all the pain. Just think about it, putting the thorns on his head. Then they spierced him in the side. And we know they put nails in his hand, nails in his feet. 
how many would have say, that's enough? You're not worthy. You're not nobody I would do this for. But Jesus stayed on the cross. He stayed for you. He stayed for me. Today, you have an opportunity to give your life over to the Lord and allow the Lord to come in and change your life. Would you stand with us? We're going to give you that opportunity. There may be a person here on today. And a lot of us, we look forward to this Resurrection Sunday. Some, some say Easter. But at the same time, we look at this day as Resurrection Sunday where Jesus took our sins in the grave. And he came up out of the grave. That on today, salvation is available to each and every one of us. We know that some have went to the store yesterday and said, it's Easter, I'm going to buy a new outfit. Got some new shoes, new tie, new socks, even a new belt. But what good is that if you're not ready to meet your God? Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. It don't take long. That's all you have to do is just come on down and stretch forth your hands and tell the Lord, Lord, I am sorry. I believe in you. I believe you the same Jesus that went in the grave and rose again with all power in your hand. Word, Lord, let us know if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that he rose from the dead, ye shall be saved. Somebody shout, save us, Lord. Wherever you are, we're going to give you that opportunity on this Resurrection Sunday. And the thing so good about it that you will never be the same. You will remember this day. You will say, I gave my life over to Christ on Resurrection Sunday. And the angels in heaven will be rejoicing. Not only that, it may be somebody here on today that need not only salvation, you may need healing in your body. You may need doors open on your behalf. You may need ways made. You may uh, uh, need deliverance. But whatever it is, God had paid the price for you on today will you step out in the aisle wherever you are whatever you need from God on today we're asking you to come come unto him all ye that labor and heavy laden he shall give you rest where you are you are here on today Come on, wherever you are, you are here on today. Someone said, well, I'm fine. I, I know that God loves me and next Sunday. I, I'll do it next Sunday. But tomorrow is not promised. So while the blood is running warm in your vein, we need you to come on. God has been good. There's no need to take it back with you there's no need to go home the same way you came you might be having a crisis in your family come on you may be having situations on your job come on you may be having things that's going on that you need God to turn around 
You need to come on. Just turn to somebody next to you and say, why don't you go on, just go. Just go on, just go. Because God is waiting on you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We see you coming. And God is rejoicing that you are coming. Because you have exercised your faith in whatever you're going through. God is able to pull you through. Tell him, thank you, Lord. Tell him, thank you, Lord. There's more. God laid it on your heart this morning. So why are you still sitting there? Why are you still standing there? And God told you today is your day. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone else? Come on, come on, come on. Some more want to come. Some more want to come. They're just thinking about it. But it's very important that you make your way. Come on, let's give these a hand. Come on, let's praise God for... Come on, everybody, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Give praise to our God. They're still coming. Come on up a little closer. Come on up a little closer. Come on up, come on up, come on up, come on up so the others would come. There's still room. There's still room. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As we pre prepare ourselves to pray, we want you to know that whatever you are going through, nothing is too hard for God. Some may want to stand in proxy for someone. If you want to stand in proxy for someone, come on, come on. They may not can't be here, but your prayer, your connection, your touching and agreeing, we we'll continue praying for Sister Mother Debels. We standing in proxy. Some may stand in proxy for her. Others that you know can't be here. That boy, that girl, that husband, that wife, that family member, they're not here on today, but you are here. Tell the Lord, thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody tell the Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, come on, tell the Lord, thank you, Lord. Come on, tell the Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Let's that's, that's, that's bombard heaven with thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, come on, tell the Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, open your mouth and tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, tell him, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, thank you, Lord. Come on, thank you, Lord. All over this place, thank you, Lord. Come on, clap your hands and give God the praise. Come on, clap your hands and open your mouth and tell them thank you. Thank you for your goodness, Lord. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for ways made. Thank you for your healing, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for touching our bodies. Thank you for healing our bodies. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for making a way out of no way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for turning the situation around. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, I thank you, Lord. Let your blood, let your blood cover us. Cover us with your blood, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Come on, Lord, we love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Tell them you love them. I love you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Come see about us. 
come making ways for us. Save on today. Save Jesus. Save, oh God. Sweep through this place. Let your anointing touch on today. Touch us with your spirit. Touch us, Lord. Touch us right now, Lord. Touch us, Lord. You said in your word. You said in your word. By your stripes, we are healed. We heal on today. Heal from sickness. Heal from diseases. Heal us, Lord. We will praise you, Lord, for that which you're doing, Lord. We tell you, thank you, Lord. Come on, tell them, 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 thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Praise them, praise them, praise them. Praise them, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, Lord, as these, your people, are here on the altar, you know what they need. You know their heart desire. And, Lord, we thanking you right now that you turned the situation around. Lord, we thank you right now that things are better now. Lord, we thank you now that you touched our bodies. We thank you now that you touched our loved ones. We thank you right now for that which you already done. We thank you right now that which you're gonna do. We tell you, thank you. We open our mouth and say, thank you. We clap our hands and tell you, thank you. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, thank you, Lord. Hey, thank you, Lord. Glory, glory. And Lord, that these that are standing in proxy for a loved one, standing in proxy for a family member, standing in proxy for a friend, well, whoever it is, Lord, you able to go where they are. Lord, you able to shake them up. Lord, you able to put your arms around them. Put your arms around them. Let them know that time is running out. Save, Lord. Save our young people. Save, Lord. Give them another chance. Touch their minds, Lord. Touch them right now, Lord. Wherever they are, Lord. Turn them around, Lord. Give them another chance, Jesus. You are God of another chance. And we thank you. We thank you. Come on, thank the Lord. Come on, thank the Lord. Come on, thank the Lord. Come on, thank you. Oh, Jesus. If you believe it and you receive it, it's yours. I said, it's yours. Tell the devil, it's mine. What God has for me, it's mine. If you believe it and you receive it, you can have it right now. I say right now. I say right now. If you believe it, shout right now. Shout right now. I got the victory right now. I got my deliverance right now. I got my healing right now. Right now. Go. Believe in the Lord. And as you go and just tell somebody, it's done. Come on, just tell somebody, it's done. It, 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 it's done. It, it's done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we get ready to go to our seat,
how many in here can say, God done it? How many, once again, how many in here can say, Jesus done it? Somebody besides you saying, what has he done? Somebody want to know what has he done? Whatever God has done for you, just tell somebody real quick. Whatever it is, just tell somebody. He, he healed my body. He, he opened doors for me. He, he made ways for me. He saved my soul. He talked to somebody and tell of the goodness of Jesus and say, he done it. Now, I know one thing he did. He died. That you may live. Don't you know you're sitting here today because Jesus died that you may live? Tell him, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you. Come on, give him the glory. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Praise the Lord. Come on, somebody. Give them the glory, give them the glory, give them the glory, give them the glory. Come on. Listen, how many glad folk, I say how many glad folk is here? Let me talk to somebody on this. Anybody over here glad? If you're glad, why don't you just stand up and just begin to just clap your hands. If God has done anything for you, why don't you just stand up and just begin to give God the praise? Anybody over here glad for Jesus? If you're glad for Jesus, put them hands together begin. Come on, all over this place. Let's praise our God. One, two, one, two, three. Come on, everybody. Put them hands together. Come on, come on. We just about to let you go. But I know, I don't know how many people here and here are from New Orleans. Anybody from New Orleans? <laughs> Well, I've seen where, and, and we all have seen too, when somebody die, they have like a parade or, and guess what? Sorry, New Orleans, but that person didn't die for me. That person is not gonna get up again until that resurrection day. But on this day, Jesus died and got up. Wait, 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 wait. Gee, let me talk to you all here. I say, Jesus died, yes. and he got up. got up. 
I say, Jesus died and got up. got up. Don't you think we ought to celebrate that he died but didn't stay in the grave, but he got up? Got up. Somebody shout, he got up. Got up. And if you know you owe God a praise for about 30 more seconds, we want them to continue with the music, and we want everybody to praise God and give him a celebratory praise. Come on, everybody, praise him. Come on, praise him. Come on, come on. That's it, that's it. That's it, that's it. Give him the glory. Bless you. God bless you on today. Now somebody shout, thank you. Hallelujah. 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 I want to share something with you. And I want to encourage every person that is seeking the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hello, somebody. I want to encourage you that are seeking the Holy Ghost, are seeking, if you turn it down just a little, that are seeking that, that God wants you to have. Everybody listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, brother. Father God, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The word of the Lord, the Lord don't want, the devil rather, don't want you to hear this. Brother Masson, Elder Masson, if you are uh, for a second. But as we are saying, we come against every foul spirit the blood of Jesus I said the blood of Jesus <laughs> I say the blood of Jesus Satan the Lord rebuke you ah, the Lord rebuke you now come out of here you have no authority here somebody shout yes Lord Somebody shout yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Now, God wants me to tell every seeker, when you are in a certain level, hallelujah. See, the devil is mad. When you are at a certain level, the devil know it. He know you're about to receive. It's his job to come and distract you. The devil come in a whisper. You praising God and you getting close. He'll send somebody. Somebody you don't have no confidence in. And they'll begin to, you can pull through. You can make it. Whatever you're asking God for, first thing you're going to say, I don't even feel like you got it. The devil sends that person. But God told me to tell you, I can recall right there in that church, came in a whisper. Brother Miller, you remember I was there? He said, you got to go back to your seat. And you ain't getting nothing tonight. But Jesus told me to call his name. I'm telling, that's what God told me to tell you on today. When you are hearing this whisper, when somebody come you don't have no confidence in, you tell the Lord, Jesus. Because at the name of Jesus, I said at the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Devils tremble. Telling you, just tell that devil not today. Not today. God has given us power. Somebody shout power. You walk on a deadly thing, you can tread scorpions and you, you can eat any, anything that harm to your body. It won't do no harm because you got the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout Holy Ghost. God wanted me to tell the seekers today. He said, kick it up. Just how you got there. Just how you begin to feel his presence, kick it up. When you're so close and it's a distraction, kick it up. When you feel like you're drifting away, kick it up. Just tell the Lord, I need you. Lord, I want you. Lord, I got to have you. Lord, I need you in my life. Kick it up. God bless you. God bless you. We just want to tell you that at this time, our pastor, Bishop Fanu is, Bishop Fanu is coming. He's coming. Let's praise God. Come on, let's praise God. Come on, let's praise God.
thank God for the word today. Thank the Lord for you today. This is, this is a multiple day. This is, this is Easter. And also it's Women's Day. And Sister Linnell and the team is coming. We're going to bless our first lady on today. On this morning, hallelujah. Did we have a wonderful time on this morning? We want to thank uh, Pastor Michael for that wonderful message and encouraging words to us on this morning. Let's give the Lord another hand of praise. And we know that our bishop said this is a twofold service. This is Women's Day. Women, you ought to be clapping your hands right about now. This is Women's Day along with our Resurrection Day. And our dear, beautiful Mother Fania dare not intrude on our Resurrection Day, but our Bishop Fania wanted us to still bless her on this morning and show her some love. Amen? Amen. Amen. So our workers, Sister Davis is here and Sister Adams is here. We do not have envelopes for you on this morning. If you would just please put your, your love offering in the basket, they're going to come around and serve you. If you hold your hand up high, if you're making a check out, please make it payable to Lily of the Valley. Amen. And I'm asking if you would share a love token of $20 with us on this morning and give as much as uh, you're able and how the Lord will bless you on this morning. Amen. And you can also uh, do Givelify. And if you do so, please uh, write it on an envelope of some type and let us know that you're doing GiveLify so that we can count you in as well. Amen? Thank you so much. If you raise your, we, we don't have any envelopes for you on this morning, but if you raise your hand high, we will be, you will serve. You will be served. Amen. Done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all, I cannot tell it all. He done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. He's taken all my sins away. Oh, he's done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. You know I cannot tell it all. Oh, I cannot tell it all. He done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. He washed all my sins away. Oh, he done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. He done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. He washed all my sins away. Hold your hands up. They'll serve you. They'll so much for me. Just leave your hands up. They'll get to you. Oh, yes, I, it's over here, Sister Davis. Oh, I cannot tell it all. He done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. Some over here, Sister Adams. Away. Oh, he done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. He done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. Washed all my sins away. And we thank you. Thank you for your giving and your love and your generosity on this morning. And we want to thank God for this offering. Father God, we thank you for this offering, Lord. Bless it, oh God. Bless the givers, the one that gave, the one that did not have to give on this day. Bless them as well, oh God. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you've done. Turn it back and 
to them four, four, and a hundredfold. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Back into the hands of the giver. Amen. We thank God for all that it has transpired thus far. Um, we're going to move into our Easter program. Let's say amen. Up first, we're going to have our welcome address by Sister Mariah Black. Following that, we're going to have a song by Sister Anna Campbell. Following that, we're going to have Jesus Has Arisen by Brother Cody Campbell. Let's say amen. We are glad to welcome you to this Easter so bright. In the name of him who rose and vanished Calvary's night, may all Easter joy light is blessing sunshine too. Bless you as you worship with us and bless coming days for you. good to be in the house of the Lord. Please pray for me as I sing this song. God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love, heal, and forgive. He bled and died. Just to buy my pardon, and there's an empty grave. It's that approved my Savior lives. God sent his son, they call him Jesus. He came to love, heal, and forgive. He bled and he died just to buy my pardon. And there's an empty grave. It's that a proof, my shame. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. And I know who holds my future. He said, I'm looking at all these people. You did a great job. Great job, Cody. Let's give our young people a hand us for amen. 
Um, next, we're going to have um, Brother J.C. to come next, talking about he died and now he lives. Following that, we're going to have Brother Kyrie Rogers to come for the Easter Bell. Following that, we're going to have Kaylin Rogers. His love stood as still. And following that, we're going to have a song by Sister Alexis Watts. We'll say amen. She should go and they should be. All right. Good job. Here we go, JC. Right. Easter bell, Easter bell, listen to it ring. Easter bell, Easter bell, Easter bell. Happy children sing. Easter bell, Easter bell. We share the love today. Easter bell, Easter bell. For Jesus in the ways. They mock our loving Savior. They nail him to the tree. And yet his love was to all. He died for you and me. Oh, yeah, he rose again. His sentence strength chains. Our loving Savior broke the bond of death. He lives, he loves, we are gain. Take me to the kingdom. I don't have much to bring. My heart is torn to pieces. It's my offering. Lay me at the throne. Leave me there alone to gaze upon your glory and sing.
Amen. Amen. Let's give him another hand clap, y'all. Up next, we're going to have Sister Haley Hood to come, so all the world might know. Following that, we're going to have Sister Kennedy Person to come. He cares for me. And after which, we'll have a reading by Brother Desmond Fitzgerald and a solo by Brother Andrew Campbell and Happy Easter by Brother Dylan. Let's say amen. It's always nice to honor Christ. He's our Savior. That's the reason. Somehow it seems so special in the Easter season. For it was on that Easter morning so very long ago that he arose from the grave so all the world might know that he is truly Jesus, our Savior and our King. From the cross to victory, he did salvation bring. Step by step as I go down life's difficult path so slow. I'm glad I know of God's great love and how he sent his son from heaven above. How he took the, how he get, how he made the lame to walk again. How he took the time to talk to sinful men. How he died on Calvary's tree because he cared so much for me. Thank you. Jesus bare the stripes of pain and suffering. He bowed under the weight of the cross. He shed his blood. He said, it is finished. He entered the tomb. He broke the bonds of death. And he rose to live forever. Remember his sacrifice, his pain, and his joy. For the power given to Jesus to overcome death. He has proven there is no death when we put our trust in him. Remember. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. I ask you to pray for me as I come to you with this election. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I said, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. flow rivers out of your belly shall flow rivers out of your belly shall flow rivers out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water 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 what can make me whole again can y'all sing it with me can you sing it with me I said, what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I said, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hey, yeah. I said there's healing in the blood, the blood of Jesus. I said deliverance in the blood, the blood of Jesus. I said there's saving in the blood, the blood of Jesus. I said there's peace in the blood, I said there's peace in the blood, the blood of Jesus. I said deliverance in the blood, the blood of Jesus. I said what can keep my mind, I said what can keep my mind, I said what can keep your mind. I said, what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. All right. 
that concludes our program back in the hands of the pulpit. Happy Easter to each one of you. Let's give the Lord a hand. Thank God for you today. I'd like to see if there are any of the visitors today. Anybody here that is our first visit? Thank the Lord for you today. They're gone. We have two envelopes. In our restaurant. Thank God for you. Lord, live in your life. Just stand there. Lord Jesus, we thank you today. Showing your love. Thee every day and every hour, we ask you to come on and see about Bring the peace of God and his kingdom with us. No more in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. My son to one, son to all, watch and pray the holy every day. God bless you. Say something. Brother Fanyan. Praise the Lord, everybody. I know we have dismissed, but I would like to just have a word to say. Uh, this is Women's Day, and God has blessed us. Thank you, uh, Pastor Michael, for such a wonderful, wonderful message on today. And he was uh, letting us know that he got up. How many believe that he got up? He sacrificed himself, didn't he? And I thank God for that and thank God for all of you that are here and the program from our little young ones, uh, little Sunshine Banner, Sister Coker, and those that worked it with you. Y'all did a beautiful job. And I want to thank our mothers for being here, Mother Kelly, Mother Minnie Weather, and Mother Ruth over here. Raise your hand. And I thank God for you all being here on today and all our visitors. And I, I thank God for you, Bishop Faneuil. I didn't honor It's already been, uh, everybody has already honored everybody. But anyway, we thank God for you. And you that uh, participate in uh, the love offering, thank you. Thank you so much. We had said we know Easter was on Women's Day, but we still wanted to give it back to our pastor and church and all, and we all just participated together. And thank God for all our women that participated this morning. So we want you to thank God for everything, because why? He got up. <laughs> yes, praise the Lord. Back in the hands, so. Bless you, he said, we may be excused.